The Heritage Park Neighborhood Center was the scene yesterday as dozens of community members stopped by to wish Garrison Commander Colonel Ed Rothstein and his family the best as they prepare for next week's change of command. Hello, I'm Brian Spann. On this edition of Beat Week, we'll take a look back at the Colonel's tenure, but first an important reminder. One of Fort Meade's biggest community events of the year is coming up on uh, Tuesday. It's the 30th Annual National Night Out. National Night Out is a countrywide event sponsored by local police and firefighters in an effort to strengthen community relationships. National Night Out is Tuesday, August 6th from 6 to 9 p.m. on McLaughlin Parade Field. There's a parade that starts through base housing at 5 p.m. In the meantime, Fort Meade is set to gain a new garrison commander next week. If you look at Fort Meade as a town or a city, the garrison commander would be like the mayor. And for Mayor Rothstein, the last two years have been very busy indeed. And speaking of newcomers, Fort Meade welcomed a new installation commander this week. In ceremonies Tuesday, Colonel Edward C. Rothstein assumed command of the installation. Congressman Sarbanes, County Executive Ullman, General Lennington, General Wendell, the Army Field Band, the Fife and Drum Corps, all soldiers and civilians on the field, you look great. A special thanks to Colonel Dan Thomas for his mentorship and friendship in showing me the ropes. Best of luck in all your future endeavors. Welcome to all other distinguished guests, family, and friends. I'd like to take a moment to provide a few comments and my appreciation as I take on this command. It is my intent to use experiences I've gained throughout my career in recognizing my strengths and weaknesses and apply those during my time here at Fort Meade. Where this document and council's true value and challenge lies is in its ability to say without a doubt that we are one community dedicated to the proposition that this region will be unified in successfully accomplishing our future missions, wherever they may be. The sight of all these colors is amazing. And when you reflect on the fact that each of their organizations marched in the, under their own colors with the sole purpose of rallying around the national flag, you understand what our first commander in chief, President George Washington meant when he said, when you, put a, when you become the soldier, don't forget the citizen. These colors guards represent the most patriotic and noble military and civilian organizations in our region. And the individual members represent the best the great state of Maryland has to offer. That's why it's appropriate that our guest speaker today is the Honorable Governor Martin O'Malley. I first want to thank Honorable Ullman, Katie Essig, the recruiting commands, Division East for this wonderful display, but really, I really want to thank you because the backbone of our army and the backbone of our country, let's start there, is our army and our armed services. The event's guest speaker, Harold Rothstein, Korean War veteran and father of Fort Meade's garrison commander. And every once in a while, I, it enters my mind that these were lives that were cut short, but they didn't mind it. They were there doing their job, they were there doing it for a purpose. When Fox 5 reporter Tom Fitzgerald showed up at the noon hour, officials reported that more than 300 meals had already been served in the first hour and a half. Installation Commander Colonel Ed Rothstein, General Keith Alexander, Commander of U.S. Cyber Command, Major General Michael Innington, Commander of the Military District of Washington, and USO Metro President Elaine Rogers joined special guests Stephanie McMahon and David Otonga from World Wrestling Entertainment for the ceremonial ribbon cutting. We are going to prioritize what we can and cannot do. And we're gonna to commit to that. You're not gonna work overtime. You're not gonna work in the office without pay to get something done, to get something uh, complete and done. You will go home. You have so much pride in your work and it shows with these awards that I present to you uh, this morning and I see every day that you're gonna to have to leave things unanswered. How you doing? Good morning. This and is, thank you for being here. Yeah, it's normal time for you, right? It's pretty normal time. I'd be doing a little bit of exercise, but it's a great way to kick off today. It is, and it's an Earth Day here at, at Fort Meade. You guys have done this in the past, and the big thing, I guess, for, for most people is actually getting on site here. It is. It's, it's really all about a concept called Team Meade, and that's about the community, bringing folks from outside the fence line in our community onto the installation. This community is unbelievable. We're doing this on 3 July with music, with Budweiser, with barbecue, with fireworks, with NASCAR. We got the jazz ambassadors playing in 1900 also. This is an awesome time and the way we're, we, we're able to do this is because of community. 